never thought I would be a farmer. Three years ago, I did an apprenticeship with a local organic farmer, and now I run Radix Farm. I use natural growing methods following organic standards to grow a diverse array of vegetables, over 45 different kinds and varieties. At least three acres from a larger farm that does industrial corn soy production. I keep a buffer zone between my farm and the corn soy. If the herbicide sprayed on that part of the farm gets onto my vegetables, they'll die just like that. Most of the farming in the Chesapeake Bay is large monoculture crops of corn and soy. They're spraying a lot of synthetic herbicides and fertilizer, and it affects the soil quality and it ruins the biodiversity of the land. Instead of pesticides, I use a lot of different things. Row cover is one, just put it over the crops and it keeps the pests out. I grow a diverse landscape of flowers and diverse crops so that I'm encouraging beneficial insects to be in my farm and they can take care of the bad insects. When people say you can't grow large amounts of food without chemicals, I say you definitely can. I'm on only about an acre or two and I'm feeding well over 200 people harvesting 15 to 20,000 pounds of vegetables each year. Over time, using organic practices, the soil quality improves so that you can grow more and become more efficient and increase your yield. In the three years that I've been on this land, I've already noticed the soil quality is improving bit by bit. Things are starting to fall into balance. Through farmer training programs in the region, more people are not only wanting to learn about farming, but they're staying committed to farming and they're really getting out there and doing it. It's so inspiring to see the growing movement of new farmers in this region. I get more out of one acre to feed a family than industrial monoculture farming can. With the growth of more sustainable farms in the region, we are able to feed more and more people more efficiently and it's more nutritious food. I sell directly to families in DC through a CSA program. I'm able to provide the majority of vegetable needs for the families in the CSA. What I love about being part of the movement of sustainable farmers in the Chesapeake region is revitalizing the environment and bringing fresh, healthy, nutritious food right to people's plates. My name is Kristen Carbone and I am a farmer.